Amen. We say praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Psalms 24 reads, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? For he that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory, and the word of God is blessed. Come on, can we clap our hands all over this house and give God some praise right where you are? Amen. If you're in this moment with us right now, this is not a moment of spectation, but this is a moment of participation. Amen. And at this time, can we stand to our feet? Amen. As we go to the throne of grace, amen. Can we begin to give God some praise right where we are? Amen. It's not about the week that we have, but it's about Jesus. Amen. It's not how we feel, but it's about Jesus. Amen. Can we begin to worship the name of the Lord right where we are? Can we begin to tell God who he is? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, he's Lord, he's Savior, amen, he's a mighty God. Can we begin to worship our Lord, our King, our Savior right where we are? Hallelujah, 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 he's Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we thank him, hallelujah, hallelujah, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. Oh, God, we bless you. Oh, God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. God, we give you praise. God, we just want to say thank you right now. Oh, God, before we ask you for anything, God, we just want to bless the name of Jesus right now. God, we just want to tell you how good you are. God, you're a sovereign God. You're a good God. You're a matchless God. God, and we say thank you right now. God, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God, because this is the day that you have made. God, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, we just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. God, we come to you right now. God, with a heart of gratitude. God, with a thank you in our heart, God. Knowing, oh God, it was you, oh God, that woke us up this morning. God, you started us on our way. God, you touched us with your finger of love. God, and you allowed us to get up this morning. Got to put on our clothes. Got to brush our teeth. Got to get up and make our beds. You gave us the activities of our limbs. God, and for that, God, we say thank you. God, we thank you, God, for a good portion of health. We thank you, God, for the blood running warm in our veins. We thank you, God, that we had food in the cabinets. We thank you, God, that we are in our right minds. We thank you, God, God, that we can have the opportunity to come to your house. We thank you, God, 
that we get to call on the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, God, that we have this place of worship to come to. God, we say thank you. Oh, God, we say thank you. We bless the name of Jesus in this house. God, we make your name great in this place. God, we lift up the name of Jesus in this house. God, we say thank you. God, bless this place today, God. Bless this house today, God. Let your glory fill this house, God. God, we're asking right now uh, that you consecrate us now. We're asking right now, God, uh, that you sanctify your people in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you, God, for this day. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, for this worship service. We thank you, God, uh, for the people that come out today, God. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, God, for willing spirits. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, God, for the mind of God, uh, so I want to come to your house. Uh, we thank you, God. Uh, God, that we have a mind to say thank you, Lord. Uh, we thank you, Jesus, oh God. Uh, oh God, for blessing us, God. Uh, God, uh, we just want to say thank you. Uh, God, we can't say thank you enough, God, uh, because you've been that good. Uh, and God, today, God, uh, we give you our worship of uh, God, we worship you this morning, oh God, uh, because you, oh God, uh, God, you're sovereign. Uh, we worship you, God, uh, for who you are. We worship you, God, uh, because you're our king. Uh, you are our God. Uh, you're our salvation. Uh, you're our foundation. Uh, we worship you, God, uh, because you're our banner. You're our protector. God, you're our shield. You're our buckler. God, and we say thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God, because it was you, oh God, God, that gives us, oh God, our strength. For the joy of the Lord is our strength, God. You're the source of our strength, God. You're the strength of our life, God. In you we move and have our being, oh God. And to say, God, we say thank you today. We worship you in this house. We ask, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you bless each and every person, oh God, that has pressed their way out today, God. God, don't let anybody leave the same way they came in, God. God, touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus, God, don't let us fall. Don't let us fall. Don't let us fall, Jesus. Don't let us faint, God. Help us, oh God, that we are not weary in well-doing. For in due season, God, we shall reap. God, if we faint not, but we can't fail, God, because you're on our side. And for that, God, we say thank you. God, your word says, oh God, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you, oh God, shall deliver us out of them all. God, bless this service. Oh God, consecrate it right now. Oh God, bless every song that is sung in the name of Jesus. Bless, God, every aspect of this service. God, the scripture reading. Bless it, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, the praise and worship, God. Every song of Zion that is sung in this house, God, bless it, God. God, consecrated, God. Bless, God, the women of God today that are coming to bring a word in this house. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your promises, uh, for the promises of God on yea and amen, oh God. And we thank you right now. God bless this house. We thank you for house of prayer. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in this house. We thank you, God, for what you're about to do, God. We thank you, God, for what you've done already. Help us, oh God, that we stay together. Help us, God, that we work together. God, for we know, God, that we're better together. And we thank you right now. God, we're serving you, God. We're seeking you even the more. 
God, for the more in 24. And we thank you right now for what you're about to do. And God, right now, we give you the fruit of our lips. We give you our praise. We give you our worship. We give you, God, the highest praise. Hallelujah. God, and we say thank you, God, from the pulpit to the door. We say thank you, God. Ah, God, we say thank you. Oh, God, have your way. Have your way, God, in our hearts. Have your way in our minds. God, and we thank you, God. Oh, God, I can't say thank you enough, God. You are a good God. God, you're so good. Oh, God, you're sweeter than a honey in a honeycomb, God. And we say thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah, we bless your name. And we thank you right now for what you're about to do in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Hallelujah. Come on, saints, clap your hands. Come on, saints, give God a praise right where you are. Come on, saints, tell God thank you. Can we just bless the name of Jesus right where we are? Come on, can somebody just give God a wave offering right where you are? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, God, hallelujah! Oh, God, hallelujah! Oh, Jesus, we thank God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For the Spirit of God is in the house. Amen. We thank God for His power in this house. Amen. At this time, amen. We're going to read the House of Prayers, the affirmation of faith. Amen. It's found in your program and it is on the screen. Amen. It says, We affirm our faith in the Bible. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible written word of God. We affirm our faith in God. We believe there is one God, our Heavenly Father, creator of all life and eternal existence. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, its people who are in Christ at his return. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We believe in the redemptive work of Christ on the cross. It provides healing for the human body, mind, soul, according to your faith. We affirm the reality of freedom in Christ. It is our freedom that Christ has set us free. This freedom is a gift of God in Christ, and it manifests itself in a right relationship with God and others. It is not a private gift to be used selfishly, but it's given to serve the community and the world. Amen. This is the House of Prayers affirmation of faith. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For what he's about to do in this house at this time, we're going to call Sister Dominique. Amen. To bring our scripture of the morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. As she comes in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Our scripture will be coming from Proverbs, the 22nd chapter, beginning at the first verse. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, a loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are rare, and are rare punished. But humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. He that doeth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is a servant to the lender. He that soweth inequity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that have a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth up his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, 
Cast out the scorner, and contention shall, shall go out. Ye strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart. For the grace of his lips, the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and the overthrow of the words of the transgressor. The soul of man saith, there is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of strange women is deep pit. He that is a, a, a horde of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolish is bound in the heart of a child. Foolish is bound in the heart of a child. But the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. And the reading of the word have been blessed. Amen. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Give God some praise. Come on, say, that's what we came to. We came to bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. This is your time, amen, to give God some praise. Amen. God's been too good to us, amen, to be silent. Amen. In our lives at this time, amen, we turn the service into the hands of uh, Brother Jody. Amen. For our praise and worship in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I was asked to do this. This mic doesn't really mean anything to me. And I'm not here to entertain, but we all know why we came here this morning. Because it would have been a good day in this inclement weather to stay in my bed. <laughs> but I'm going to do as I was asked. And if you know these songs, we're going to sing. We're going to sing a medley of songs, and we ask you to join in. I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his whole I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And oh, that is within me. Bless his home. Holy. Everybody help me. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his soul. time he has done great things. Oh, oh, oh. 
holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. world. Jesus is the light, light of the world. Jesus is the light, light of the world. For he is ever shining in my soul. The light, light of the world. Walking in the light, light of the world. Jesus is the light, the light of the world. He is ever shining in my soul. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. Light of the world. Jesus is the light. Light of the world. I said Jesus is the light. Light of the world. He is ever shining in my soul one more time everybody help me jesus is the light come on light of the world oh jesus is the light light of the world jesus is the light it's the light of the world for he's ever shining in my soul. For he is ever shining in my soul. For he is ever shining in my soul. I have a message from the Lord, hallelujah, a message unto you I bring, it's recorded in his word, hallelujah, it's only that you look and live, look and live, my brother live. Look to Jesus Christ and live. It's recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. Only that you look and live. Look and live. My brother, live. Look to Jesus Christ and live. Hallelujah, it's only that you look at me, look and live, my brother live, look to Jesus Christ and live, it's recorded in this word, hallelujah. 
Christ in them. Recorded in His work, Hallelujah. It's only that you look and live. The windows of heaven are open, and the fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul Since Jesus made everything right I gave him my old filthy garment And he gave me a robe of pure white And the beast in the band of the heaven that is why I'm happy. Oh, the windows of heaven are open, and the fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul since Jesus made everything right. Oh, I gave him my old filthy garment And he gave me a robe of pure white And my beast in the bed up from heaven That is why I'm happy tonight Oh, that is why I'm happy That is why I'm happy that is why I'm happy tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul. Since Jesus made everything right. Oh, I gave him my old filthy garment. And I gave me a robe of your wife. And I beast in the man up from heaven. That is why I'm happy. Oh, that is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. I've got joy, joy, joy in my soul. Jesus made everything right. Oh, I gave him my old filthy garment. And he gave me a robe of pure white. And I feast in a man up from heaven. That is why I'm happy. Joy, joy in my soul Since Jesus made everything right Oh, I gave him my old filthy garment He gave me a robe of the white And I feast in a man up from heaven That is why I'm happy Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory is mine, oh, victory today. Yeah. Victory 
is mine. He's mine. He is mine. He is mine. He is mine. Yeah, he's 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 mine. Yeah, he
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Father. I just want to love you. Holy Father. I just want to love you more. Do as you command to help my fellow man to show you, Lord, in every way I can. Holy Father, I just want to love you more. Holy Father, I just want to love you, Holy Father. I just want to love you more. Do as you command to help my fellow man to show you Lord in every way I can. Holy Father, I just want to love you. 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 I just want to love you more let me just say this since COVID since when, when COVID started they dropped my hours to 28 hours a, a week and, and it was rough <laughs> nobody knew it was I'm telling you I have a mortgage I have a family, I have a wife, I have a daughter in college, but God made a way. <laughs> I just found out that you're going to be starting on tomorrow a building where I'm going to get paid more than what I was making. <laughs> starting tomorrow. And all I had to do was say, all right, I'll do 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. That's no problem. Sometimes we ask God for something, but you have to bend something to get what you need. I had to bend. I went from working seven in the morning to three. But hey, five to one, that's not a problem. And that's why I love them. I'm telling you, I love them. I might not jump around here and act a fool like some of us, but I love them. I love them, I'm telling you. You know, people expect us to act a certain way. Oh, he ain't safe. She ain't safe. But you don't know. You don't know. Everybody is an individual. And I might not praise him like Mother Bash, but I still praise him. <laughs> God is good. I'm telling you, one of the most important attribu attributes of a believer is faith. And if you can't have faith, you can't believe that God exists. <laughs> I'm not telling you. You can. It's impossible. That's scripture. Yes. That is scripture. You can't. You can't. It is scripture. You know, when, when different illnesses hit our body, listen, if you've been praising God all this time, you need to have faith to believe that he's going to deal with that, that sickness. I'm telling you. That's all I have. That's all I have. Come on, saints. Open up your mouth. Give God some praise. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Put your hands together. Come on, saints. Clap your hands like the devil's in between them. Hallelujah. Whoa. 
Oh yes, hallelujah. Come on, can we bless the name of God in this house? The spirit of the Lord is in the house. Can we bless the name of God in this house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can get what you need right now. I know the word of God is coming, but you can get what you need right now. All you got to do is open up your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Amen. Give God some praise. Amen. We thank God, amen, for the spirit of God that's in this house. Hallelujah. Amen. We can do nothing without the spirit of God. Amen. We thank God, amen. Amen for this service, amen. We thank God. Come on, give your God a uh, hand clap and praise for, amen, our brother Joe, amen, leading us, amen, in praise and worship. Amen. At this time, amen, we come to a part of the service where, amen, it's time to feast, amen, on the word of God. The word of God says, man shall not live by bread only, amen, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. And at this time, and we're going to bring for we got we got a double hitter for you this morning. We got a double hitter. Amen. So, amen. Amen. I get excited about the word of God. Amen. We got two dynamic speakers, amen, coming before you. Amen. Right now. Amen. We're going to bring forth our first speaker. Amen. Coming our first lady, our very own first lady. Amen. Coming to give us what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Receive our first lady in the name of Jesus. Amen. We say praise the Lord to everyone. We thank God for the spirit of God is here, saints. Thank you, Brother Joe. I called him at the last minute, and he rightfully agreed. He says, I'll do praise and worship, saints, and that's what it's all about. We talked about it in Sunday school this morning. Whatever your hands find to do, Amen. do it with all your might. You say you love God, show him that you love him. And we praise God for this opportunity. Amen. Saints, I'm not a long speaker, but I'm going to give you what the Lord put in my heart. I'm not one to just grab something out of the air. And I says, Lord, give me something that can touch everyone's heart and I'm going to give you my topic it says stand Jody brother Joe just uh, hit it stand firm in your faith and I said in your faith in God because we can have faith in people but my my thought is our faith in God it says let nothing move you you hear me let nothing move you Amen. and before I get into my um, my um, word I want to sing this song. Lord, don't let me fail. Yeah. I want to be your bride. When my way grows dark, I need you to walk right by my side. When my faith grows weak, Lord, help me to see something in my life. Thou hast done for me. Oh, Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be your bride. When my way grows dark, walk right by my side. When my faith grows weak, Lord, help me to see something in my life thou has done for me father we thank you for this day thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy god i thank you for this opportunity to stand amongst your people because these are your people and lord i know what you put in my heart and actually to help me to relay the message of encouragement help us to realize that you are god of encouragement regardless of what it looked like you can bring us through if we have the faith. You said if we had the faith the size of a mustard seed, we can speak to our mountains, and our mountains are going to move. And, Lord, we have the faith, that faith that can conquer anything. Bless the word. Bless the hearer. And help them to listen. In Jesus' name, amen. 
we thank God again for you. Thank God for this opportunity to stand because I take nothing for granted. And I ask you just um, give me your ears, your two ears just for a minute. Because as I was um, doing my research, it says the attention span of the typical audience is less than seven minutes. <laughs> and before you run the risk of losing them, you may have them for five minutes. <laughs> and it's so true. I was on a Zoom meeting on Thursday at my job, and the meeting started at 7, and I think it was like 8 o'clock, and I was getting tired. And one of the board members says, Greta, I need to ask you a question. And I hear her, and I see her talking to me, and I don't even know what she said. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, can you repeat that? And, it, and it, it makes this true. Sometimes you can look at somebody, they don't hear what you're saying. But I want your ear for five minutes because what I have to say, I'm going to say it and I'm going to sit down. It's words of encouragement. Because sometimes we're beat down all week long. We need an uplift. It's almost like you have a, a power drink. You need that uplift. You need that boost. And I hope this message will encourage you. My first a uh, verse of scripture, which is my thought, is coming from 1 Timothy 4 and 1. It says, the spirit clearly says that in the latter times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons, influenced by hypocrisies of lies, whose conscience are seared with an hot iron. And a lot, what we're seeing today we got to be so careful, and especially those that like to scroll that, um, the internet and, and on your phone. There's so many, so many religions out there, and everybody thinks they're right. But it's, if it's not according to the word of God, saints don't receive it. We're living in the last days, and there are people that are deceivers. The scripture says they have a form of godliness, but they're denying the powers thereof. So be careful. And it says, in the face of adversities or doubts, it is important for Christians to stand, stand firm in faith. This means trusting God's plan and promise, even when it may be difficult or unclear. And I looked up the word firm. Firm means to be secure, stable, and strong. And today's society saints, only the strong is going to survive. Yeah. Only the strong is going to survive, saints. And you, can, you think you, you could be saved 50 years, but guess what? The devil got something for you. Yes, he do. If you don't build up your faith, yes. if you don't stay in the word, if you don't pray, there's something out there for you. Because, you know, let me just be honest. A lot of times when things are going well in our lives, mm -hmm. all of us can say, Lord, I trust you. Oh, I won't doubt yes, you. Yes, Lord, you. you're good. Yes. Oh, nobody like, but let trouble come and come see. On, come on. So you got to be careful. I remember when my sister Jackie got sick, and I would always go to visit her. And I said, Jackie, I says, um, I would try to try to encourage her. And I said, and she would. Her words with me would be, "It's easier said than done." I would say, Jackie, trust God. It's easier said than done, and that's true because I wasn't on that side of pain, pain twenty four hours a day. But I praise God as she realized she wasn't going to recover, God kind of strengthened her where she just, she just um, gave in to this is my plight in life. That this is, I'm not coming out of this. But she changed how she felt. But my point is when we are going through, we got to be careful not to doubt God's promises. God is a healer. And my mom used to always say, Greg, you got to remember, God heals two ways. He heals naturally, and he heals through death. Amen. A lot of times you want to be healed naturally, but there's some things that's going to happen in our lives. They're going to be rough. But will that damper your faith and trust in God? And a lot of times we let our circumstance, we do, we let our circumstance change our view of God. But allow God to change your, how, how you view your circumstance. We got to be careful. God, I want to be. That's why it's so important that we push Bible study. We push prayer. We push it because you need it. That is your weapon, church. 
Prayer is your weapon. Prayer and faith, it goes together. 1 Corinthians 6 and 13 says, be on your guard, guard, watch, stand firm in your faith, be strong and courageous. By holding fast to your belief and relying on God's strength and guidance, we will weather the storms that, and it will develop our faith. You cannot weather the storms if you don't allow God to have control because something is going to hit your life that's going to turn your world upside down. But you got to stand on the word of God. Stand on his promises. It's inevitable things will happen in life that challenge your faith. The question is not if, but it's whether you will lose hope. And I can, be, I can stand here and honestly say, I remember when my, my dad first got sick. And a lot of times you think because you have... Uh, someone is so gifted and you watch God use them in a gift of healing and the gift of prophecy and you see it come to pass. So when my dad got sick, we all thought that he was going to uh, recover. Amen. So when my dad passed away, when I say my world turned upside down, I started questioning my faith. But then I had to realize, Greta, all things work together for the good. Yes. And that was my dad's plight. And a lot of times, you've heard people say, well, they, God took my mom, so I have nothing to do with church. Saints, time and chance happens to how many of us? It happens to us all. Guess what? You may be well today. If you live long enough, your body going to break down. Are you going to charge God falsely? You got to stand on the word of God. I was wounded for your transgressions. I was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of our, my peace is upon you, and by your stripes we're healed. And guess what? If you're not healed on this side, you'll be healed on that side. Amen. But don't lose faith. It's important, saints. The scripture says, when I return, will I find faith on the earth? People are losing faith in God. Look at the church. Look at the church. People don't have no trust in God. But God has not changed. It's us. Come on. And God is not a genie in a bottle. Lord, I need this. Lord, I need that. And because you don't get it, oh, God ain't true to his word and you walk away. That's not how it works, saints. We talked about it in Sunday school. Our blessings are spiritual. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and then all those other things. He said, I'll add them to you. If it's warranted, believing that God will work a miracle doing challenging situations, we must have confidence. Amen. Faith is total trust in God. <laughs> work in faith erases all doubt. And we got to get rid of the doubt. I don't care what it looked like. He says, What's this, what does Hebrews 11 and 1 says? Faith, go ahead. It's a substance of things, the evidence of things, what? We don't see it, but we believe it. We believe things are going to work. I love that song. Things are going to work out in my favor. That's a faith song, saints. I don't see it, but it's going to turn around for me. It won't always be like this. God's going to make some changes. I've been praying, Lord, when my son going to get a job? When my son? I, I, I says, God, I believe. I'm not going to doubt you. I'm going to trust the living God. And that's the point we got. I don't care how long it takes, saints. Stand on the word of God. First Timothy 6 and 12 says, fighting the good fight of faith involves running from sin mm -hmm. and pursuing, pursuing the things of righteousness. And a lot of times we want to straddle the fence, saints. We can't straddle it. Either you're in it or you're not in it. It's one or the other. We can't, when we were growing up as teenagers and we know we wanted to have our cake and eat it too. My mom says, Greta, you can't straddle the fence. Mm -hmm. And it's the same today, saints. You got to be in it. Don't give God anything. God has been too good to us. We live, we move, we have our being. It's all through him. It's not the vitamins you take. It's not how much water you drink. God keeps us, saints. God keeps us well. 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but what he delivers us out of them all. A lot of us were stricken down with COVID, but you're here today. A lot of people didn't make it since we got a lot to be grateful for. So hold on to your faith. Let nothing steal your faith. I don't care what it looked like, because sometimes it looked really grim. Mm. Things are not going in my favor. Guess what? But I still trust God. I don't have the job I want, but I still trust God. I don't live where I want to live, but I still trust God. Come on, saints. Hallelujah. We cannot doubt the powers of God. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58 says, Therefore, my brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work, because your labor, church, is not in vain. I have no more to give you, but encourage you to hold on. Hold on because he's coming. Saints, he's coming. Hallelujah. And with this new culture, we have kingdom culture, not this cancel culture. It's kingdom culture, saints. Hallelujah. We stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Don't let no one change your belief in God. God is God. He's not going to change. He's not going to change for you. I heard that guy, what is his name? Murphy. And I seen his, I seen his uh, conversation, and he said about, um, I guess he was getting flack from what he did on, on, on New Year's. He tried to say that this is Atlanta's culture. What in the world? What about God? This is kingdom's culture. You don't change the way God planned it because you want No, we got to stand on what is right, saints. I don't care who does what. Stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Stand on the word. Hallelujah. Stand on the word of God. God is not going to change for you, you, or you. And for me. He says, what I say to one, I say to all. He says, be holy because I'm holy. Hallelujah. We can't change saints. Hallelujah. We got to come out of, from among them. Be ye separated. We want the world. We want Jesus. We want everything. No. We got to be separated. Separated from sin. We don't practice sin, church. Hallelujah. But we live. And when we make a mistake, guess what? We, we got enough sin to say, Lord, forgive me. Because we're not perfect. Hallelujah. We're not perfect. None of us are. We have made mistakes. We still make them. We're going to continue to make them. But have enough sin to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. Because God is that passionate. He's full of mercy. He's not like us. You hurt my feelings. I'm done with you. That new ca cancel culture, that's what that's about. If you say something they don't like, you're gone. Be gone. Hallelujah. But that's not. God shows mercy, not malice. Hallelujah. He shows mercy, and we got to show mercy. Hallelujah. We're nobody's judge. Hallelujah. We love each other back to Christ. Hallelujah. He said, if you see your brother or your sister, what do you do? He said, you restore them in the spirit of what? Meekness. Meekness, saints. And before I close, I want to end with this. Remember when we were kids and we used to play hide and seek? And the person would count one, two, three, four, five, six. We used to go to tip seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, at when, and then when they thought everybody was in their place, what they says, ready or not, here I come. And that's how Christ, ready or not, he's coming, church. Hallelujah. And we got to be ready. Hallelujah. Ready or not, he's coming. So prepare yourselves to meet him. Stay rapture ready, church. Hallelujah. Stay right. He's coming, church. Hallelujah. And he's coming back for a bride, his bride. And we are the bride. The church is his bride. And saints, these are the last days. Don't get caught up in mess. Don't get caught up in it. I don't care who stopped coming. You continue to walk with God, huh? Because guess what? We all got to stand before God and give an account. We're not standing as a group. Come on, y'all. Let's come together. One individual that, what have you done? Saints, don't let nobody turn you away from God. I don't care if your mother, father, sister, brother, you stay with God. Huh? You be that example. God is going to reward. He says, I reward those that diligently seek him. There's a reward for being faithful, church. Don't be no fool. There's a reward for standing up for truth. Hallelujah. God will open up doors for you. Hallelujah.
He'll make the crooked straight and the high places. He'll bring them down for you. Hallelujah. There's many benefits when you serve God. It's almost like an insurance policy. There's many benefits. You got with a job, you get vacation, you get sick days, you get floating holidays. But saints, read Psalms. It says the benefits of serving God. Many benefits. Huh? Don't forget it. That's right. Don't forget it. He gives us benefits, church. So we owe him praise. Amen. Keep the faith. Walk with God. Do what's right. Hallelujah. Do your part as a believer. Hallelujah. Don't just talk it. Walk it. Walk it. Yes. Don't just go to church. Be the church. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Don't just be, be. Just do, do. Hallelujah. Just do. Do what's right. Because God will repay you. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you in Jesus' name. At this time, Sister Mazzetta. every one of you on today and sister Greta called and said we're going to do a little you know tag team so here we are and the scripture reading for this morning is going to come from first Corinthians the 15th chapter beginning at the 58th verse only one verse in your hearing so can we just stand very quickly 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the 58th verse. And this is the NIV version. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor is not in vain. Father, we thank you today. Glory to God. Thank you for just letting us know, glory to God, that our labor is not in vain today, glory to God. But in this moment, glory to God, we seek heaven. We have heaven in our view, glory to God. Decrease me, glory to God, so that your people will hear and see that you are in me right now, glory to God. Let your word go across, hallelujah, even the airways today, glory to God, that someone may be touched, someone may be uplifted, someone may be encouraged. Just to journey on a little while longer, we say have your way in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. and amen. Now we kind of had the same topic. Stand firm in your faith and let nothing move you. And I kept going over that topic in my mind. But then the Lord summed it up in three little words. And those words are, stand your ground. This is not the season for you to break down, back down, sit down, or lay down. This is the season that you stand up and fight. It is time for the church to get off the defensive line and join the offensive line because the job of the defensive line is to stop the enemy from scoring. But in case you haven't been wondering, the enemy has been gaining yardage on us. The enemy has been kicking field goals on us. The enemy has been scoring touchdown on us. He's been touching stuff he ain't got no business touching, taking stuff he ain't got no business taking, but the Lord is saying it is time for the offense to take the field. It is time for you to take the ball and take back everything that the Lord has stolen outright. It is time for you to play the game the way he has orchestrated for it to be played. Because the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. It is time for you to stand your ground in 2024 and hold fast to your faith. Don't worry. Don't fear. Don't be displaced by 
what other is saying, but Joshua 1 and 9 said, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not discourage, for the Lord your God will help you, will be with you wherever you go. All right. It's time to stand up and fight. You don't have to worry in this season because God got your back. You don't have to worry about what's coming down the pop line because all you got to do is walk with faith and not by sight and knowing that if he brought you to it, he's going to get you through it. So that's what he is saying. Stand your ground in this season. Stand your ground in your home. Stand your ground out there in the street. Stand your ground in your neighborhood, on your job, wherever you may go, but stand your your ground stand your ground stand on your faith stand on your principles stand on your character because if the Catholics can stand their ground if the Muslim can stand their ground if the Hindus can stand their ground if the atheists can stand their ground if the Jews can stand their ground then where is the Christian standing their ground the ones that know glory to God that God is able to do anything but fail the ones that know that he bled and died but he rose again where is the faith of the Christian is the true believers of God where is that being displayed in the community it is easy for a Christian to fall than to get back up but today he said stand stand your ground this is not the time to have itching ears you turn on the TV they saying so much stuff so much junk over the airways. You're strolling on Facebook. You're strolling on Instagram. Instagram is so much stuff out there to get you to change your faith and your belief in God. But today we say, for God we live and for God we die because we come to stand our ground. We are rooted. Rooted today. We are rooted in him. Not man. But God, in the year of 2005, Florida was the first state to pass a law called Stand Your Ground Law, also sometimes called the line in the sand. However, prior to this enactment, this enactment of the Stand Your Ground Law, a person could not use deadly force and self-defense without first using every reasonable means within his or herself to retreat from danger. Now this law gives individuals the right to use what they believe to be reasonable for uh -huh. to protect themselves and their family uh -huh. in the case of any intruder invading their home. Unfortunately, it also gives reckless gun users, guns owner, the right to kill first, ask questions later, and claim self-defense to avoid being held criminally responsible for taking the life of another. But in this season, I know I read somewhere in Isaiah 54 and 17 where it says, no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that rise up against thee in judgment shall be condemned. That's to let the devil, I don't care what you throwing at me. I don't care what's coming my way because I have a God that has my back in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to stand my ground because Ephesians says in 6 and 16, above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench every fiery dart of the wicked whatever you throwing at me satan hallelujah it's falling to the ground right now whatever you throwing at me satan it's falling to the ground right now whatever you throwing at my family right now it's falling to the ground right now so i must stand my faith i must stand on the word of god i'm going to stand with my election and my calling and sure in him glory to god because it's in him whom i move and have my being it's it's in him when he brought me out of the darkness and brought me into the light. It's because of him that I'm standing here today. So God, here I am. Use me in the name of Jesus. Who shall sin? Who shall we sin? Who shall go for us? But he is calling for a ready church that is ready to stand their ground and tell the enemy, here's the line no more. Stand your ground in your faith. 
Let nothing move you. Let nothing shake you. Let nothing, glory to God, discourage you for just pressing on. That's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to stop and give up. He wants you to throw in the towel. But we know, glory to God, that the race is not given to the swift. No, to the one, hallelujah. All you got to do is endure. Endure, and how you going to endure? You're going to stand up. You're going to stand your ground. You're going to stand on the promises of the Lord. Hallelujah. Stand your ground. Stand your ground like Peter did when he cut off the ear of the servants, the high priest servant. He cut the ear off, glory to God, protected Jesus. We got to protect our leaders, hallelujah. We got to go to bat for our leaders because every man of God out here is not living crippled. Every man of God out here ain't trying to just gain money, fame, and fashion. Every pastor out here ain't trying to just sit here and tell you anything, but you got some leaders that is walking worthy, hallelujah, of God. So we got to protect our leaders. Stand your ground like Nehemiah did when he was building a wall. They sent word, they sent letters, they sent things after another just to get him to come down off that wall so they can kill him. But Nehemiah said, if I come down, then who's going to build the wall? So we got to stand out of ground and tell the devil, no, I'm not coming down to your level. Tell your haters, no, I'm not coming down to your level. Don't be so big and bad that you can't walk away. Sometimes you just got to turn the other cheek and keep it moving. But in this season, I'm going to stand my ground. Stand your ground. And know that if he sent you into a place, he's with you when you get there. Stand your ground in this season. Like David did when he went fighting Goliath. He only went down to the battleground to bring lunch. He didn't bring his fighting gear. He didn't know he had to fight. He thought his fighting day was in the field. But when he gets to the battleground, he see this uncircumcised Philistine. <laughs> but see, that, see that in the day's culture, they say don't send the boys to do a man job. <laughs> But when David heard what he was talking, when David heard how boastful he is, and he wasn't giving credit to his God, David said, don't worry about me. Take off, hallelujah, your shield. I'm going to go get me five smooth stones. And he only knew that he might have had five stones, but he had one shot. So David took his one shot and made his one shot count. His one shot was the shot to bring him down. He stood his ground and against something that was bigger, against something that was taller, against something that was stronger, but he knew, hallelujah, in his heart that God was with him. He knew, hallelujah, that this enemy had to come down. He knew, glory to God, that this wasn't the time for me to run. This wasn't the time for me to sit down. This wasn't the time for me to run back. But somebody, God, hallelujah, got to stand up against the enemy and tell the enemy, no more will you be bothering my family. No more, glory to God, will you be bothering my finances. No more will you be in my house in the name of Jesus. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Hallelujah. Matthews 11 and 12 said, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom, hallelujah, have suffered violence and the violence taken by force. We're not going to get nowhere playing defense. We can only win the game if we get on the offense. We can only win the game if we allow the people of God to step in, glory to God, and be active in their gifts. This ain't the time to worry about what they say about you, how they feel about you. It's time to clear your mind, get in the game, glory to God, and go for the touchdown. Hallelujah. Because when we look at the world today, it is evident. If there ever was a time where we needed to protect our children, the time is now. If there ever was a time when husbands and wives needed to be on one call, the time is now. If there ever was a time man needed to be men and know their place, the time is now. 
if there ever was a time a woman needed to know that she is more than just her hips and her thighs, that time is now. If there ever was a time that we needed to hold on to our faith, now is the time. Why? Because we are living in the last and evil days. We are living in a time where we are calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. We are living in a time where nobody wants to show love. Nobody want to give nobody no grace. Nobody want to show mercy. We are living in a time, glory to God. It is glory to God. We are living in a time where people think it's okay, glory to God, to change their gender, but yet blame God. We are living in a time where people would rather go to one another than go to God. We are living in a time, glory to God, where people think, children think that they can get more of an education standing on a corner than sitting in a schoolhouse. We are living in a time now that they feel that they can gather online to come into the sanctuary. We are living in a time where people don't want God. But the Lord said, stand on your faith. Stand on your faith. Knowing, hallelujah, that you will reap. Knowing, hallelujah, that your labor is not in vain. Knowing, hallelujah, that I am a reward of those who diligently. Knowing, hallelujah, that greater is in you than he is in the world. Knowing, hallelujah, you got to know who he is in order to have faith in the man that said it. You got to know. You got to know. Some trust, trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But we will trust in the name of the Lord. Verse 8 says, they are brought to their knees and falling. But, the, but we, his children, we rise up and we stand firm. It's time to take a stand in your home with your children. They ain't living right, take a stand. Don't let them run over your house. It's time to take a stand when you know things are going wrong at your job. It's time to take a stand. We got to stand on the side of good because evil is all around us. Don't waver in your faith, but take a stand today. Be encouraged that God has not forgotten you. He is with you. He knows what you are going through. He knew that you was going to go through it before you even went through it. But what are you going to do when it really hits your home? What is it going to do when the sickness really hits your body? Are you just going to lay down and give up? Or are you going to stand and see the salvation of the Lord? When your kids are out of control, are you just going to throw them away? Or are you going to bring them to the altar? What are you going to do when it gets real? Take a stand. Draw your line in the sand of 2024. And tell the devil no more. Don't be afraid to talk back to him. Don't be afraid to get with him. Now we don't fight physical with physical. But we fight in prayer. This is why we say Tuesday night is our prayer and Bible study. Now you don't have to be here to pray, but pray. Don't let the devil stop your praying life or take your praise out your mouth. Stand against him. Stand against the wiles of the enemy. It's time to stand up and it's time to stand firm. Don't let nothing move you. Don't let nothing break you. Don't let nothing shake you in this season. I'm reminded of that scene. I love it so much. And what love got to do it. When I continue, was in the limo. Hallelujah. It was the time when she said, I'm going to take a stand. And she fought back. They both got out the limo. <laughs> they were messed up. But guess what? Huh, I'm still standing. You can tell it was a, you don't know who won, but you can tell it was a fight. I ain't got to beat you up, hallelujah. I just got to leave some bruises and brock like you left on my body. You ain't got to know all the ins and outs. But it's time to take a stand. Take a stand for your family. Take a stand for your children. 
Because the devil is after our young people like never before. He is taking their mind, taking their attention, taking their focus. Hold on to our children like never before. In the name of Jesus, take a stand. Amen. Come on, can we give God a praise? Amen. For these two dynamic speakers. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, let's give God a praise in the house. Amen. Let's take a stand. Stand firm in the faith. Amen. That's where your blessing lies. Amen. If you stand firm, you got to be like the tree planted, rooted, and grounded. Amen. In God. Amen. Our hope is, is in God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For our first lady. Amen. Sister Greta. Amen. We thank God for that word. Amen. We thank God for Sister Mazetta. Amen. For that dynamic word. Amen. In the house. At this time, amen. We're not going to move this the service uh, forward without opening up the prayer line. Amen. Is there anybody, amen, in the house, amen, that desires prayer? I mean, after hearing, amen, these two dynamic speakers, is there anybody that hearts were pricked, amen, that want to get in this prayer line, amen, in the name of Jesus, amen. If that's you, come on to the prayer line, come on down, amen, and have the man of God lay hands on you in the name of Jesus. Come on, can we clap our hands all over the house? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. Again, we thank God for the Spirit of God that was in this house on today. Amen. Amen. I pray amen, that we can, amen, continue. Amen. To stand firm, amen, in God, in the body of Christ, amen. Knowing where our strength comes from, amen. It's only in Jesus. Everything that we need, everything that we have, it's in Jesus, amen. At this time, amen, we're going to change the order of service, amen. We're going to get ready to take up our offering, amen, our tithing and our offering, amen, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. He which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. As every man according as he purposed in his heart, so let him give. Amen. Not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. We all know our responsibilities. Amen. Our tithing, which is 10% of our earnings and our increase. Amen. We ask, amen, the responsibility to give, amen, a $20 love gift. In the name of Jesus. God will bless you in your giving. Amen. It is a blessing to give. It's worship to give to God. Amen. So at this time, amen, as you get in your offering together, you're under the direction of the usher in Jesus' name. He has done so much for me. The Lord has done so much for me. I will never cease to praise him. The Lord has done so much for me. The Lord has done so much for me. The Lord has done so much for me. I will never, church, hallelujah, cease to praise him. The Lord has done so much oh, for me. Oh, the Lord has done so much for me. 
The Lord has done so much. Hallelujah for me. Oh, I will never, never, never see to praise him. Oh, I will never, hallelujah, see to praise him. Oh, I will never, oh, see to praise him. Praise him. The Lord has done so much for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. God, we thank you for this opportunity, God, to give to you. And God, we ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you bless the giver. In the name of Jesus, God, even those who had not to give, God. We ask, oh God, that you bless them today. He may have to give on the next time. But bless God this offering. Bless those that God that had to give. God, that you return unto them, God, tenfold, some fiftyfold, some a hundredfold. God, that it may be to the upbringing, upbuilding of your kingdom. And we thank you right now, God, for what you're about to do in this house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we turn the service into the hands of our pastor. May Pastor McKinney come receive him with a hearty amen. Come on, clap your hands as he comes. Amen. God bless you, Elder. Amen. I, what a word. What a word. A word of encouragement. Do you feel like going on? Amen. Amen. I'm standing here because we have a getting back to one of our old traditions is if any one of you want to bless the speakers, amen, uh, because I don't want you to miss your blessing. Junior Deacon, can you come here, please, with another offering? And anyone who wants to bless these two magnificent women of God, whatever you want to give, give something. We have to learn to take care of our own. And I don't mind giving to these two young ladies. Number one is uh, they are used as, like, chauffeurs. They are taxi drivers. They have no problem going and picking up the sink. Amen. And bringing them home. So it, it's, it's not other than the right thing to do. And of course, we give them a love gift for allowing the Lord to use them. So uh, whatever you have to give, amen, give it as unto the Lord. Amen. And I'm not just giving just a dollar. I don't want y'all to do like me. Amen. But uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm starting my offer. I'm going to give $30 for the both of them. So uh, raise your hand. Just raise your hand. God's going to bless you. I uh, give that to, if you don't mind, to, uh, Sister Dominique and that accountant. Amen. And wow, if you count that, we're going to have Sister Mazetta come and give us our church announcements. And uh, I just want to say, I had an enjoyable time on yesterday afternoon. Amen. That, that play was wonderful. Amen. It was, it was wonderful. You know, it was very, very good. And also, I want to tell you that the uh, donations that they gave for the uh, upcoming Day of Healing, we took in over 300 and fifty-five dollars on yesterday that they gave. So, Amen. That will be going towards our day of healing. What we're looking forward to in April at this time, Sister Mazetta. The Lord again. We thank and praise the Lord for the word on this afternoon. Now, and we're going to ask Sister. We're going to ask Dom, Dominique if she would come at this time and present the 
offerings at this time in Jesus' precious name. Thank God for these dynamic speakers on today. Thank God for them. Praise the Lord, church. Praise Again. We thank God for both of you. I thank God for you, Auntie Greta. I love you. I adore you, and I appreciate you. Sister Zeta, you know I love you, and I appreciate you. It's not a, a lie. It's a token of appreciation for both of you and how God used both of you. Amen. 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 We praise God for your giving on this afternoon. For well, we cannot be God's giving no matter how hard we try. But we praise God for just your being able to give unto those that are in the household of faith. And we praise God for all he's doing in our life. Praise God for Mother Fast being with us on this, on this morning. She was, she was under the weather, but look at God. Look at God. The faithful, the God that we serve is faithful. Jody, I thank God for your testimony on today. Hallelujah. Praise God for just letting God just use you. And all it takes is a, 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 a willing mind to do things for him. And God is always doing something for us. He's just saying, when are you going to do something for me? That's all, that's all he's saying. That's all he's saying. If there be nothing else, we're going to ask everyone to stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for each and every one of you that have came out on today. With bow heads, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for all you've done and all you're doing. We pray your blessings be upon your people, oh God, as they leave this place, but not your presence. Bring them back at that point in time, and we won't fail to give thy name glory, honor, and praise, for we ask these things in Jesus' name. And everyone say amen. amen. Say amen again. Thank you.